A former South Suburban school lunch lady is now facing criminal charges accused of stealing more than a million dollars worth of chicken wings. WDN's Andrea Medina has that story from Harvey. This went on for about a year and a half. What the school worker allegedly did with a large amount of chicken wings is still unknown, but she's in custody at the Cook County Jail and is accused of placing unauthorized purchases separately from the district's legitimate orders. 66-year-old Vera Liddell is a former Harvey School District 152 employee. She's at the center of a major theft scheme that brewed during the COVID-19 pandemic when students weren't allowed in the classroom. Liddell worked for Harvey Schools for more than a decade. She was a food services director, but after her tenure, she was hired as a consultant in July 2020. In that role, she was in charge of placing food orders. Between July 2020 to February 2022, Cook County prosecutors alleged she used her position to embezzle $1.5 million from the school district. Court documents accuse Liddell of ordering more than 11,000 cases of chicken wings from the district's food provider, Gordon Food Service, GFS, and picking them up with the district's cargo van. At this time, it's not clear what Liddell did with them, but a proffer presented at her bond hearing last week says the food was never brought to the school or provided to the students. It goes on to say even though the children were learning remotely, the school district continued to provide meals for the students that their families could pick up. The scheme was uncovered January 2022 by the district's business manager during a mid-year audit. The manager found the district was $3,000 over its budget and were only halfway through the school year. Court records revealed the manager discovered individual invoices signed by Liddell for massive quantities of chicken wings, an item never served to students because they contain bones. Parents say it's upsetting to know someone may have selfishly taken the funds intended to nourish students. So this is the area that we live in. We live in, in like, you know, um, middle class, lower than middle, middle class in this area. So it really don't surprise me that somebody would try to get over, but it's kind of sad. Others claim it's not surprising to know a trusted person in their community would do such thing, but they're hoping the district enforces effective oversight over the financial activities of the district. I just feel that um, the people that was watching over that money or who jobs it was, um, they need to be um, looked at because that shouldn't happen. The Harvey superintendent is aware of the charges, but declined to speak on camera or give a comment because it is an ongoing investigation. Liddell's next court date is February 22nd. Reporting in Harvey, Andrea Medina, WGN News.